Hello, my friends. It is year 13, week number 663. There's like some fires going on in Canada right now, and it is causing the smoke to come into these states here, including New York City. This here is a video that I shot right outside of this window right here, my apartment just shooting straight out. This is the color of the sky. Um, it is this kind of beautiful, warm, burnt orange sort of color. I purposefully stayed indoors the whole day. And despite that, with all the windows closed and everything, you could still kind of taste the air, if you know what I'm saying. Like, it felt like when you have really bad allergies and you can just kind of feel it in your eyes and your nose. That was the state of things this week here in New York. Earlier this week, I went out to go and watch a live performance of Marc Rubier here in the streets of New York. So the first time I ever heard about Marc was like three or four years ago. He did a performance on the H3 podcast. So I'm a fairly new fan, but basically what he does is he is an improvisational electronic musician performer so he does these live shows where the entire set is 100 percent improv and made up on the spot he's located here in new york city and something that he's been doing is on youtube every week he does a live show where he basically takes his setup goes out somewhere on the street sets up and just performs a two-hour set and you don't know where the location of the performance is gonna be until the live show begins. So this week I decided like, I wanna go and try to find him. It's kind of like this like, where is Waldo sort of thing at the beginning because you don't really know where he's gonna pop up until it begins. A strategy that one might have to go about doing this is in advance, head to Midtown and just kind of wait since he might be anywhere in the city, you have the highest likelihood of just kind of cutting down your travel time if you're just central to everywhere. You can't really like go to a destination and wait for him because, you know, there's a chance he's gonna be playing here in Brooklyn. And if that's the case, well, I just would have wasted all this time traveling around trying to get to him when I could have just stayed exactly where I was at. So the way I did this was, as soon as the live began, I turned it on, identified where he was located then I which was for this week he was located in Union Square which luckily in the grand scheme of things is very close by I left here quickly ran to the train stop hopped on the train got off and just kind of like circled around the park until I could find where he was located oh, what's Just to put things into perspective, three weeks ago, this guy was performing on the main stage of Coachella, and now three weeks later, here we are. If you're free, you have some spare time, and you're lucky, you can go out and you can find him street performing and watch a live performance for free. Smack and your tongue back shit, I've had enough. 
This is a shot from his live stream right here. There was a moment where he runs up into the crowd and for a small little second, you could see me on his stream standing in the crowd. There is a special quality about his music and his performance that I think I didn't quite appreciate until I saw him live. And like clearly he is a very good performer, very good at what he does, very charismatic. But I think the quality that is underappreciated is this ability to adapt to the chaos that's happening at that moment in the city. Throughout his show, he has other singers and dancers and other musicians, street performers who walk up and on the spot, he just starts collaborating with them. So he'll record them and then incorporate his own music into whatever it is that they're doing. And it just all kind of fuses together and contributes to the overall show. There's this moment here that I think perfectly exemplifies this. So there's a drum line here in Brooklyn. It's a youth group of these kids who are really good at playing drums. And it just so happened coincidentally that they were marching down the street. Someone from the crowd called the drum line over and on the spot, he recorded them playing, turned it into a loop. And then once they left, he incorporated their sound into his performance. Just the casual nature of this whole thing was just truly incredible. And with might, and with great de 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 determination. Air quality is looking much better today. Here, I'll show you what it looks like out here. Okay, we're gonna go and look at the current state of the air quality here in the city right now. Much healthier, much less orange. By comparison, this is much, 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 much better out here. Thanks for watching the video this week. It's been year 13, week number 663. Next week will be week number 664.